Alright, um, Curtis, so how we do questions is I'm... Cletus. <laughs> Cletus. It's Cletus. <laughs> so how we... Alright, thank you, Mr. Johnson. So how we do interviews around here is... You, I'm going to ask you a question, then you're going to repeat the question in your answer. I've never been on TV before. Well, that's true. This is exciting, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> I guess the celebration causes for a drink, eh? Can you tell me... Anything called for a drink. Can you tell me, um, your, like, an average day for you? An average day for me? I'll wake up. Right early, I change the water in the cow's trough. <laughs> Get myself a nice cold beer. And then, I wake up the kids. I got nine little ones. Two of them with my current wife. So I get them working on the farm. And I have myself a bath out in the bathhouse. At that point, I eat lunch. We don't eat breakfast. Breakfast is a waste of space. Um, then, I finish tending to the animals. You know, I milk the cows. I collect the eggs. And then I take another bath. Because it's very important to stay clean. And then I go to bed at an early hour to maximize the next day's efficiency. But not after two or three more beers, because that helps me go to sleep and forget about my problems. Um, so, Cletus, again, repeat the question. Um, what, do you, what do you typically eat in a day? What do I eat? Yes. Again, we don't do breakfast around my parts. For lunch, I just like a piece of toast with some lard spread on it. For dinner... Uh, it's whatever the kids found out in the woods that day. Usually, it's deer, but every now and then we get lots of fish and wild boar, some buffalo. We usually put that in a stew. We make our own broth out of the bones of the animals. Um, my wife, she makes a great, a great stew. It's pretty great. No, as long as it's fresh, roadkill we'll make a fine dinner. Mm. Rabbit slay. <laughs> Discrimination. I hate discrimination. Um, I've never heard of a redneck. What the hell is a redneck? Um, a redneck is the term that people use to describe farmers, a lot of them in the southern states of the United States, um, who are typically conservative, but they use oh, it... I'm conservative. <laughs> yeah. They use it as an insult a lot of the time saying that, that farmers are unintelligent. That's a pure way of life. It reminds me of my old brother Cooter. Cooter lived in Alabama. Cooter had a big family. He got like 14 kids now. How do you feel about our current president? Mr. Donald Trump? He's a fine man, that Donald Trump. He's a fine man. Uh, I mean, we don't have a TV, so I don't really know what he's up to, but he's a fine man. I'm sure he's doing this country very proud. Uh, that's what I have to say on that. <laughs> Police brutality? Well, one time, a cop... Get this, it's horrible. He accidentally kicked one of my chickens while inspecting my property for meth. Because back then, I was a big time meth dealer. I still do it occasionally, but it's not on the same scale, you know. He game kicked my chicken on accident while I was just out clucking about. So I think police brutality is heinous, frankly. I will not stand for that in America. Kick my freaking chicken, man. You're not showing this to the FBI or anyone, are you? <laughs> No. You sure? Yes, I'm I have to sign the papers? No, nope. they, won't, they won't see it. What I want people to know about me, I've got a big family, and, you know, got to make money to support my family. So if you have a friend or a cousin that's like a meth addict, I think you should point them in my direction. 
No reason for it. Also, I'd like you to know, my wife, she makes a very good broth. And ain't no one fuck with my chickens. Thank you. I don't know what else needs to be said. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just a working man. Honest American man. <laughs> Thank you.